in the busy city of Sydney, Australia, where tall buildings sparkled in the sunlight and everything moved fast. Jasmine's days felt slow. At 25, Jasmine worked hard as a cleaner but struggled to get by. Her days were filled with the noise of cleaning tools and city traffic. But she stayed hopeful despite her tough life. Each day, she cleaned offices and hotels carefully, dreaming of a better life for herself and her family. One afternoon, while Jasmine was cleaning the floors of a fancy office building in Sydney's business district, a tall, well-dressed man named Liam caught her attention. Liam, 28 and wealthy, had been walking through the building's lobby and noticed Jasmine. He was intrigued not by her looks, but by how dedicated she was to her work. He admired her focus and the kindness she showed despite her situation. Feeling sympathetic, Liam walked up to Jasmine. Excuse me, he said, sounding genuinely concerned. I've been watching you work, and you do a great job. Here, take this. He gave her a banknote that was more than enough to cover a day's work. Jasmine looked up, surprised and confused by the unexpected gift. Thank you, but you really don't have to, Jasmine said, surprised. Liam smiled and shook his head. It's the least I can do. It's a tough world, and people should help each other when they can. As he left, Jasmine held the money tightly, feeling a mix of gratitude and disbelief. It wasn't just the money that meant a lot to her, but the kindness from someone who seemed to live a life of luxury. It reminded her that compassion still exists, even among the rich. Back at his fancy mansion, Liam's stepfather, Marcus, a wealthy and calculating man in his late fifties, was noticing Liam's recent acts of charity. Marcus, who was always thinking about their family's status, saw these acts as a threat. He thought kindness might be a weakness that could harm their reputation. One evening, Marcus called Liam to his study. The room was filled with expensive art and old furniture. Marcus sat back in his chair, looking serious. Liam, I've heard about your recent charity work, Marcus said sounding smooth but disapproving. You might not realize, but this could hurt our family's image. We have a reputation to maintain. Liam, used to his stepfather's controlling ways, was surprised by how serious Marcus was. I'm just trying to help people, he said firmly. Isn't that a good thing? Marcus's face grew stern. Not if it harms our reputation. You need to understand how important this is. Liam was confused but didn't have time to ask more. Marcus continued, I think you need to learn about responsibility and image. I've set up something to help you understand. The next day, Jasmine got an unexpected visit from Marcus. He arrived at her small apartment, looking out of place among the modest surroundings. With a careful smile, he made Jasmine an offer that seemed too good to be true. Jasmine, he began. I'm here to offer you a chance, Marcus said. My stepson Liam wants to help people like you, to avoid any more problems. We've come up with a plan. If you agree to marry Liam, you'll have a life of comfort and wealth. Jasmine was shocked. Marry him? But why? I don't even know him. Marcus's smile didn't change. It's a way to secure your future and help your community. The money you'll get could really make a difference in your life and others. Jasmine was torn. The chance to improve her life and help her family was tempting. But marrying a stranger felt wrong. Still, the possibility of making a big impact with the money made her think. As days passed, Jasmine felt overwhelmed by her conflicting emotions. She didn't realize that Marcus's offer was part of a bigger plan to manipulate and control. The real purpose of Marcus's scheme was hidden, setting the stage for future conflicts and secrets. Meanwhile, Liam's life continued to be shaped by Marcus's influence. Liam didn't know the full extent of his stepfather's plans. As the wedding day got closer, tension built up. Jasmine's choice would soon reveal a web of betrayal and deceit that neither she nor Liam could have expected. With Sydney's skyline shining in the sunlight, Jasmine found herself at a difficult decision. Marcus's proposal left her confused. 
Marrying a wealthy man like Liam was tempting, but the way the offer was made felt wrong. Marcus seemed more interested in controlling her than in being kind. Jasmine spent the next few days feeling overwhelmed, trying to make sense of the situation. Jasmine was torn between a comfortable life and the moral issues of the arrangement. One evening, while cleaning a fancy restaurant in Sydney, she saw Marcus talking privately with an older woman. Jasmine noticed the woman's brooch, which seemed oddly familiar. She tried to ignore it and focused on her work, but the brooch kept coming back to her mind. The next day, Jasmine went to a local market and overheard a conversation about a wealthy estate and a woman named Evelyn Howard. The talk included a sad story of loss and betrayal. The name Howard caught her attention, and she remembered the brooch from the restaurant. Curious. She decided to look into it. Jasmine found old newspaper articles about Evelyn Howard. They described Evelyn as a kind and generous woman who was well known in Sydney's high society. After her death, her wealth had gone to her husband, Marcus. Determined to find out more, Jasmine went to the local archives. There, she found more information about Evelyn Howard's life and her tragic death. What shocked Jasmine the most was learning about a missing infant daughter who had vanished under mysterious circumstances. Jasmine realized with horror that the missing child was her. As Jasmine put the pieces together, she discovered Marcus's cruel actions. He had married Evelyn, taken her wealth, and then abandoned Jasmine when Evelyn died. Marcus had deliberately erased Jasmine's existence to keep control of the family's money. This was a crushing blow, confirming her worst fears about Marcus and the true nature of his proposal. The wedding day came with a mix of excitement and fear. The fancy venue, filled with lavish decorations, was a stark contrast to Jasmine's modest background. Guests in elegant outfits buzzed with excitement, unaware of the hidden drama. Liam, not knowing the true reasons behind the marriage arrangement, was getting ready for the ceremony. Despite his doubts and the growing tension, he tried to stay positive hoping that marrying Jasmine might lead to something good. He had come to appreciate Jasmine's strength and kindness and wished their marriage could bring about some positive change. Dressed in a beautiful wedding gown, Jasmine felt both nervous and determined as she walked down the aisle. She glanced at Marcus, whose smug look did nothing to calm her. As the ceremony began, Jasmine braced herself for the worst. She knew Marcus was planning to reveal her past to embarrass her and Liam but she was ready to act. With newfound courage, Jasmine stepped forward and interrupted the ceremony. Stop. I have something to say, she declared. The guests whispered in confusion as Jasmine took a deep breath. When I was a child, Marcus abandoned me. My mother, Evelyn Howard, died years ago. Marcus took her money and left me in poverty. The room was stunned. Liam looked shocked and Marcus's face went pale. The image Marcus had carefully built started to fall apart. Jasmine continued, her voice steady despite shaking hands. Marcus tricked me into this marriage not out of kindness, but for his own gain. I am the rightful heir to Evelyn Howard's estate, not just a poor cleaner. The guests were stunned into silence, glancing between Jasmine and Marcus. Liam, now fully aware of Marcus's betrayal, felt a mix of anger and shock. He realized that his stepfather had set up the entire situation to satisfy his own greedy desires. Marcus's calm demeanor crumbled as he faced the truth. Jasmine's accusations and the guest's shock left him trapped. His deceit and manipulation were exposed for everyone to see. As the guests started to understand what had happened, Jasmine's strength and determination became clear. She went from being a pawn in Marcus's scheme to a symbol of truth and justice. What was supposed to be a display of Marcus's power turned into a reveal of his darkest secrets. The once fancy wedding hall was now filled with confusion and commotion. The elegant decorations seemed out of place against the drama unfolding. Guests whispered among themselves, their faces showing a mix of shock and curiosity. Liam stood frozen, trying to process the shocking news Jasmine had just shared. Marcus, who had once been confident in his power, now found himself in a crisis he couldn't control. 
As Jasmine's words echoed through the hall, Liam's shock turned into intense anger. He turned to Marcus, his voice quiet but full of rage. Is it true, Marcus? Did you really abandon Jasmine and steal her mother's fortune? Marcus, now trapped and desperate, tried to stay calm. Liam, this is all a misunderstanding. Jasmine is trying to mess things up. Liam's anger flared. I've seen enough. It's clear you've been deceitful from the beginning. The truth is out. And you need to explain yourself to everyone here. The guests whispered among themselves. Their interest peaked. The festive mood was replaced with tension and anticipation. Jasmine stood firm, her heart racing but her determination strong. She had revealed Marcus's deceit. But the fight was far from over. Marcus's face showed panic as he tried to save his reputation. This is a smear campaign. Jasmine is trying to deceive everyone. Before he could say more, the police arrived, called by worried guests who had seen Marcus's deceit. The officers, informed about what had happened, began to investigate. They questioned Marcus, Jasmine, and the stunned guests. With Liam by her side, Jasmine explained the truth about her past and Marcus's betrayal. She shared details about Marcus's schemes and her research into Evelyn Howard's history, which supported her claims. The police took notes and promised to look into everything carefully. As the investigation continued, it became clear that Marcus had not only manipulated the situation but had also been involved in fraud. Jasmine's evidence confirmed her identity as Evelyn Howard's daughter and showed that Marcus had falsely claimed her inheritance. The days after the wedding were chaotic. Marcus faced growing financial and legal problems. Meanwhile, Jasmine and Liam found themselves unexpectedly working together. Jasmine and Liam's shared experience and growing respect for each other turned their forced marriage into something genuine. Liam, feeling guilty for being part of Marcus's scheme, was deeply affected by Jasmine's struggles. He promised to help her seek justice. Jasmine's bravery and determination inspired many. She continued to fight for those who had been wronged and used her situation to highlight injustices. Her transformation from a struggling cleaner to a strong advocate for justice showed her courage. As the legal battles against Marcus heated up, Jasmine and Liam worked closely together. They spent long hours going through documents, meeting with lawyers, and preparing for court. Their teamwork showed their dedication to finding the truth and seeking justice. Even with the growing evidence against him, Marcus refused to give up. He kept trying to deceive and discredit Jasmine, but with increasing public support and solid legal evidence, it was becoming harder for him to maintain his false image. The turning point came when the court showed all the evidence of Marcus's crimes. It was clear he was guilty, and his attempts to hide his actions failed. The judge, impressed by Jasmine's courage and the solid proof of Marcus's wrongdoing, sentenced him to a long prison term and ordered him to return the stolen money. Jasmine and Liam's hard-fought victory was a testament to their strength and persistence. Going through this struggle had made their bond stronger. After the trial, Jasmine and Liam decided to use their experience for good. They started a foundation to help people in need focusing on supporting and providing opportunities for those who are less fortunate. Their aim was to make a positive impact in the community and prevent others from facing similar injustices. In the courtroom, everyone was silent as the verdict was read. Marcus was sentenced to 15 years in prison for his fraud and ordered to repay the stolen money. His proud facade was shattered, and he had to face the consequences of his greed and deceit. He had underestimated Jasmine and Liam's resolve, and now he was paying the price. As Marcus was taken away in handcuffs, the media went wild with coverage. News channels all over Sydney reported on the fall of the wealthy businessman and the surprising events that led to his downfall. Jasmine and Liam found themselves in the public eye, becoming symbols of bravery and justice. Their story inspired many people. Jasmine now recognized as the rightful owner of Evelyn Howard's estate, faced the challenge of adjusting to her new life. Going from a struggling cleaner to inheriting a large fortune was overwhelming, but she was determined to use her wealth for good. 
With Liam's help, she started working on the promises she had made. Liam, having seen Marcus's manipulation up close, felt a strong sense of duty. His initial act of kindness had sparked the events that led to Marcus's downfall, and he wanted to make sure their work had a lasting impact. Together with Jasmine, he set up a foundation in Sydney to support, educate, and help those in need. The foundation's goal was to assist the underprivileged and give a helping hand to those who had been forgotten by society. Jasmine and Liam put in a lot of hard work to set up programs that helped with various needs, like giving financial aid, education, and job training. They used their platform to push for social justice and draw attention to the struggles faced by underserved communities. Jasmine's story, once full of hardship and betrayal, had become a symbol of hope and change. Her bravery and determination turned her into an advocate for positive change, and her efforts were really making a difference in many people's lives. She found satisfaction in using her experiences to help others and make a real impact. Liam also discovered a new purpose. By working with the Foundation, he was able to use his wealth and influence to support meaningful causes. The experience changed him from a wealthy young man who was disconnected from others' struggles into someone who truly cared about making a difference. 